Emergencies Act after we received advice from law enforcement. The advice we received was to invoke the Emergencies Act. Look, I, I don't want to speak uh, for every last serving member uh, of, of law enforcement, but there was a very strong consensus that we needed to invoke the act. We invoked the act because it was the advice of nonpartisan professional law enforcement. The advice that we were getting was that um, that law enforcement needed the Emergencies Act. It was only after we got advice from law enforcement that we invoked the Emergencies Act. And that advice came from very experienced law enforcement. We had to invoke the Emergencies Act, and we did so on the basis of nonpartisan professional advice from law enforcement. And that was the advice that we were receiving from law enforcement, and one of the main reasons why we invoked the Emergencies Act. We got the advice from uh, our law enforcement that we met the threshold. They then came to their judgment, as you say, and thereafter, uh, we came to ours on the basis of the advice that we were getting from law enforcement. That's a compilation put together by our friend Cosman Georgia at True North. Uh, how many clips were there there? Ten? Could he be clearer? Police told them they needed. It was their advice. It was their request. It was their nonpartisan view that they needed the Emergencies Act invoked. Well, except it just wasn't true. Joining us now to talk about this wicked lie is our friend Spencer Fernando, whose latest essay is called Establishment Press, Unwilling to Just Admit that Marco Mendocino Lied to the Canadian People. And Spencer joins us now from Winnipeg. I mean, he really couldn't have been clear. It's not like it was a gaffe that he misspoke once or twice. I think there were close to 10 clips there uh, in Parliament, in press conferences, in committee. He said he got that advice. It didn't happen. When you know something didn't happen, you say it happened. That's called a lie. It's not a mistake. It's a lie. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. How he's, uh, he and the Liberal government and much of the media is now trying to say, oh, we miss, he, he was misunderstood, you know, just a poor misunderstood soul. And, you know, as you say, everywhere else that would just be called lying, right? And so I think, you know, it's, it's clear that he's probably being set up as the fall guy. I think the Liberals are feeling the pressure, you know. If they invoke the Emergencies Act on what clearly looks like a false pretext, then there's going to be a lot of hell to pay. And uh, he's probably going to be set up as the fall guy for it. And they'll either throw him under the bus or try to just distance Trudeau from it. But as much as the focus should be on, you know, Medicino being a liar, uh, it does go back to Trudeau. He's the one who invoked it. He's the one who and his PMO who would have given Mendicino the talking points. And, you know, maybe the fact that Mendicino is somewhat incompetent has just made it easier to see how dishonest the government is. You know, it was sort of incredible. Uh, we heard that so many times, as you saw there, about 10 times. But it took weeks for the truth to come out. No police force positively counteracted him or contradicted him. Mm -hmm. It was only when they were being grilled in front of some legislative committee anyways that they were asked, did you ask for this? Did you recommend this? And one after the other, they all said no, which sort of surprises me that they answered at all, but the RCMP said no, the Ottawa police said no, they all said no. The lie was told for months. The truth only came out later. Now, tell me a little bit more what you mean in your essay. You say the mainstream media are still holding the line that Mendicino was just misunderstood. Um, are there any mainstream media out there that are calling him out? You're calling him out. True North is calling him out. We're calling him out here. Are the National Post, the Toronto Sun, the Toronto Star, Globe and Mail, CBC, are they still shy about this subject or they, do they realize the lie also? Well, I'm sure most of them realize it, but they're, they're using generally different language to refer to it. You know, misunderstood, you know, liberals clarify Mendicino's comments. You know, it's, it, it, they're treating it as if he said one thing once and it was a mistake, right? Oh, he one, one time he said the police asked for this. And law enforcement asked for this. Okay, he misspoke. Okay, you can understand that, you know, someone, if your job is to talk for a living, you know, we all know that we're going to say one or two things that don't always hold up. But he said it over and over again in many different settings, you know, press conferences, you know, speaking in parliament, uh, speaking in committees. So it's clearly that was his line and that was the, the message they were going with. And so the fact that that is just completely uh, disintegrated uh, shows that they were lying to the whole country. And, you know, again, that is really the difference between independent media and much of the establishment. It's it's kind of similar to, you know, the anger when Polyev was criticizing the Bank of Canada. It's almost that they're more concerned about the tone, right? Oh, how dare you, 
you know, call someone a liar. How dare you criticize an institution? Whereas I think most Canadians and certainly independent media are more focused on the facts and focused on what's actually happening. You know, the tone doesn't really matter. I mean, are, are we supposed to be nice about the government lying to people? Or are we supposed to be nice about the government using a false pretext to, you know, in a, take away people's rights and evoke the Emergencies Act? That's not something we should just be, you know, polite about. That was an excerpt from my daily TV style show called The Ezra Levant Show. Each weekday, I do a monologue on the news of the day. Then I interview a fascinating guest. I read some fan mail or hate mail, depends on which I like more. And we end with a video of the day. You can get it all at rebelnewsplus.com.